Warning, playing around with the creation kit late at night while sleep deprived is dangerous. Don't do this at home. I'm a trained professional. Not really. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm up, my brain is firing, and I'm playing around with a mod idea. This is not a mod I'm going to release publicly. It's pretty much purely for the Leonard playthrough. At least it will be unless it gets to a point where I think it could be useful and I get permission to upload this from the author of Ordinator because I'm tweaking some settings. Specifically, some of the, some of the perks in Sneak. I've added a few new requirements to them because essentially they're pretty powerful. They are. Now, this is not a criticism of Ordinator, by the way. I'm, I'll, I'll give you an example. Shadow Warrior. Entering sneak mode in combat grants two seconds of invisibility, briefly leaving combat and forcing distant opponents to search for you. This effect has an eight second cooldown. That is bloody powerful. That is bloody powerful. That is not an insult to Ordinator because that perk actually exists in the main game. I think he's tweaked it a slight amount. Uh, but he's also added a perk... I think he, I don't, here's the thing, I don't even know which perks are Ordinator and which perks are vanilla, but he has definitely tweaked some of these, so I, I'm obviously playing an Ordinator playthrough, so I'm tweaking the perks he set up. I actually think Laughing Ghost and Shadow Warrior are vanilla perks, however, they are very, very powerful. No more powerful than other perks in other trees. And let's face it, by the time you get them and you're sort of level 40 in Skyrim, you've pretty much broken the game, even if you're playing on Legendary, unless you artificially set restrictions on yourself or use mods, which, of course, is what I'm doing. I've been going out of my way to make Leonard's life a bit miserable. Um, specifically, I'm doing things like trying not to use missiles, and that was partly to distinguish him from the Richard playthrough, but it's also partly because, let's be honest, shooting a bow whilst in stealth becomes massively OP in the vanilla game, or even in even in a modded game, it's, it's just incredibly powerful. You can pick off enemies a lot easier than, say, crawling up to them, getting behind them and, and stabbing them or picking their pockets. It's a lot easier to just sit in the shadows quite far away, pick one or two of them off, and if they do discover you, just move somewhere else. I wanted to avoid that with Leonard. I wanted to have a playthrough where I really did emphasize getting up close and personal. This is, this is my own restriction. And I want to tweak the game a little so that essentially I stick with that. So, for example, what I've done with Shadow Warrior here is I've just added a requirement that it needs Illusion 75, which is expert-level illusion. So you would need to be a master thief, a master sneak, and an expert illusionist to be able to do this. This pretty much means it's a, it's a thief mage, it's a nightblade power. And with Laughing Ghost, I added a requirement for Alteration 90, although I did... I did give some thought to actually making that conjuration, opening a portal to oblivion and stepping through, but I don't think it fits. But I've made that one ridiculously hard to get. You've got to be an almost master alteration mage and a master sneak, but then that is a very powerful at-will ability that lets you essentially, you know, step through the shadows, teleport through shadows behind an apartment, uh, uh, a target and do a sneak attack on them. This obviously would pretty much remove a big part of the challenge with Leonard, hence the reason this is something that he's almost unlikely to ever get. At, at, at the point Leonard has something like the requirements to get these, he's going to have pretty much transcended uh, ordinary mortal problems. So this is, this is what I'm going with. I'm, I'm just tweaking a few... Uh, uh, different things, and I'm wondering if you guys have got any suggestions. So, I mean, like, disengage. All enemies within 100 feet that are attacking you search for you, instantly stop and resume their normal activities. This could actually be similar to Calm, so it, it maybe it requires some modicum of illusion, although it's only a once-a-day power. 
which is less of a... I think the once-a-day powers are less of a problem. These are your special, special uh, get-out-of-jail-free cards. It's kind of like the Shadow of Nocturnal power that grants Leonard invisibility for about two minutes once per day. It's, it's something he can use but can't abuse too much. So, you know, it's, it's reasonably balanced. Plus, he also has a good reason for having it. He earned this power from a Daedric Prince, whereas, let's face it, there's no real reason why Leonard suddenly grant, uh, gets the ability to go invisible. I mean, you, you could argue maybe he's somehow altered his blood chemistry through alchemy, which is an interesting idea, actually. That I mean, I could imagine coming up with some idea that he's altered his blood chemistry. That would make a very interesting backstory. However, it's also something that would be available fairly soon. And, and, and as I said, I, I just don't want Leonard to have that power. And I don't want him to have that option either. So, you know, this is, this is partly to balance things. It's also partly so that uh, there's a, a very defined and obvious reason why Leonard cannot go that route. A lot of the reasons I don't use some of the very powerful tools at my disposal are role-playing reasons. But there's almost no role-playing reason why Leonard would not take that or that if he had the option to. I'm even open to the idea of uh, making it so that they require certain quest updates. So, for example, Dragon Horde. Whenever you sleep with 50,000 or more gold in your inventory, you may choose to spend it to purchase a perk point. Now, that's not as powerful as you might think at first. It, 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 it would be for normal characters because you do get a lot of money but of course uh, those of you who've been watching the current chats have probably realized Leonard is going to be poor at some point in the near future his plans do require a huge quantity of money and so th this probably you know even in his current super rich state would only grant him about three perks and at the cost of one perk so he'd only be gaining two perks and as I said, I, I don't think it's going to be too powerful for him. But I was thinking, it's, it's again, it's why would he suddenly be able to buy a perk point? Just, you know, this is this strikes me as not even magical. This strikes me as a deal with the devil kind of thing. So I was actually thinking, okay, maybe this is one of those things where you need to have finished the Nightingale quest line so you can... You can uh, give money, riches to Nocturna, and she will she will give you knowledge. Or even one of the um, oh god, I can't remember his name. Mareus, what? Well, well, oh god, I'm terrible with the names. You know the one, Hermaeus Mora. Hermaeus Mora. Um, you've done one or two of the quests there, or even um, the DLC Dragon Ball. Something I don't know. I mean, it's there's there's a lot of different options here where I could actually make it so that at certain points. Leonard could access this if he ever does get lots and lots of money, but he does, it requires some excuse, some actual reason for it. Anyway, that is that is basically it. I'm just uh, messing around with the creation kit and, uh, you know, I'm twiddling, I'm fiddling around, I'm messing about and uh, playing with some possible tweaks. If you've got any suggestions, anything you think might fit for my character, in the skills, in the perks, especially as it relates to Ordinator. I've got to the point where I can't even remember what the vanilla perks are and what Ordinator is, so it's sometimes it gets like that. It's difficult to remember what part of this game is a mod and what part of the game is vanilla. He says, stood in a fairly heavily modded play. Actually, pretty much everything we're looking at right now but Leonard's face is modded. Ah, oh, well. Well, that's, 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 that's half the reason we're still playing, isn't it? That's the fun of this. That really does look nice. Yes, it does. I'm getting hypnotized by the, uh, the colored lights in the background. Did I mention I was sleep deprived? <laughs>